I can talk about it through a love story, it would be a way to make the two people more equal and to not be a boring story about class or to be somehow talking about an oppressor and a victim. Coming to this film, you know, uh, the kind of appreciation it has got at Cannes, the critic week. I was reading somewhere that uh, it has got 40 film, it has gone to 40 film festivals across the world and has another like around 20 awards. The topic of the film, the, the subject of the film is very uh, Indian, I felt. So I want to know from you, what do you think is that one universal thing that appeals to audiences up, across the world? I think the one thing is really the, the hopefulness of the film. It's a call to believe in your dreams, in a way, to, to, to break out of society and be who you want to be, you know. And of course, love stories, people, you know, I think love stories are love stories. I'm, I'm a sucker for love stories, so I guess that's part yeah. of it as well. You chose uh, about uh, depicting economic disparity through a romance. Why did you decide to merge this? So how we all well know and you've done yeah. it very well. If I can talk about it through a love story, it would be a way to make the two people more equal. And to not be a boring story about class or to be somehow talking about an oppressor and a victim or you know falling into these sort of manicured yes. black and white kind of as a love story i felt that the two people become equal i wanted her to be very dynamic and to be interesting i wanted to really explore what love is even not like you know some beautiful woman and then some background music plays and then you're in love you know uh, there's more, there's more, there's there's beauty in Ratna, but it's a, it's much richer than that. Then it's not, it's not makeup, you know. And um, so I, I want to explore those things, and I thought through a rough story they become equal, because if she's, if she doesn't love him back, then it doesn't matter what he has in his bank, right? In terms of their respective journeys, you know, Ratna is uh, way ahead uh, in terms of finding herself. You know, she knows mm -hmm. what she wants. So tell us a bit about. Uh, how Ratna happened and your relation, I mean, working relationship as a, you know, woman director, woman uh, actor yeah. with the Lottam Mashu. To me, I feel that she's, she is much clearer. Also, her life is harder, right? So he's a bit in La La Land because nobody's ever really said no to him for anything. As in like, you know, ho jayega, you know. Uh, so for him, he's never been kicked out of a shop, you know. Nobody's looked down, nobody would look down on him if he walked into a five-star hotel. She could never enter. So she knows, she knows the limits. She understands how society places and positions her very clearly and to her Bombay, yes, represents freedom but only up to a certain extent. It's really patriarchal society and people put up with a lot and they find their way and they find their way through, you know, they have women friends, they find a way to laugh, they find a way to cope and they find a way to even excel, you know, in that. So, it's how I see Indian women and that's what I wanted to show, like this kind of spirit and I think Tilotma really got it, like from the inside, you know, and I think that's where she shines uh, in the film because she's really She's not, act, she's not, you know, it's not from the outside and she really lived. Let's talk a little bit about Ashwin. It's so difficult not to fall in love with him. Is yeah. what in, in terms of the character, you know, like writing his character, it was, uh, it was challenging, right? Because it's a, it's a fine line. Like he wants to help her. He wants to reach yeah. out. But you can't be disparaging. You can't be patronizing. You know, it's so easy for him to help her. What would he do? You know, Achha, dukaan, you know rent karke de deta I mean, he can do so much. Nah? He's got money, but he has to, there, there is a, there is a line because it's not respectful what do you do how do you help but not you know so it was uh it was challenging <laughs> you know to find that to find that balance to be like okay he because he can't just leave how would he how would he leave without doing something uh, throughout the film what what i like about what i think is interesting about ashwin to me and also what um what what vivek does pull off is that he has a sort of mask right uh, which so many times i feel that uh, men, especially in certain positions of power or certain kind of positions, you know, around their families, they have a kind of mask. They don't really reveal too much emotion. They have to be restrained, you know, and there's this constant sense of you can't let go because he's just being a dutiful son. But who is he really? Yeah. What is he really? What does he really want? You know, he's put all that aside. And I feel that is so present in our society, you know, um, as much as we can say, you know, men get a lot of pressure as well. He, he didn't feel that I'm so great. I'm being nice to you. You know, it was just normal for him to be nice to her. So younger women who want to aspire, you know, uh, uncharted territories, take different paths and do things with life uh, differently. What would you tell them? I would say, take your time to do the work first, you know, to understand what you want to do and why you want to do it. Um, there are no shortcuts, I think. My journey has been really long. So from my own little one person's experience, I would say, take the time to really do the work, really understand where you're going and what you want to do. 
and then just go do it and don't listen to anybody <laughs> you know but you have to have a solid grounding of as to what you're doing you know you have to first put in those few years of really hard work to understand uh, the space that you're entering and why you want to do what you want to do subscribe to our youtube channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any videos by us